Hey guys, welcome to the House of the Dead 3 playthrough. Today we're doing the final episode, episode 6. Today we're doing the last thing we can do in this playthrough, time attack. So let's get right to it. Alright, because this is post commentary, I have the pleasure of telling you things in the future. Um, I royally screw up this attempt, but the next attempt I don't do so bad in. But anyway, let me tell you about time attack. Basically, this mode you start off with 30 seconds, and uh, when you shoot zombies, you get anywhere from 0 to 5 seconds bonus. The basic principle is see how far you can get before time runs out. But yeah, like I said, I screw up this attempt, but the next attempt I do a bit better. But yeah, see I'm getting like one second for these guys, you'll see later on I'm getting like five seconds and stuff. The twin shot that you can get early on in the elevator that I keep trying for, that gets you a definite five seconds. <coughs> At least it does when I do it. <coughs> but um, yeah. Twin shot, baby. Oh, that was a nice three seconds. Let's see. Take them out, nice and easy. Okay, maybe not so nice and easy. Now, the bullet range, uh, the bullet range and power is somewhere between arcade mode and extreme mode. It's not as easy as arcade mode, and it's not as hard as extreme mode. Somewhere in the middle. Alright. <laughs> we found it. Oh, the end. He died. <laughs> um, if you couldn't tell by now, since we've seen all these cutscenes twice, I'm skipping it for this. Which is why this is going to be a pretty short episode. But anyway, chapter one, Chasing Shadows. And because this is so hard, I'm obviously going to do the entrance. <laughs> All right. Ha. Oh. Um. Anyway, while I'm doing this, um, new stuff to do with my channel. Um, it's not really to do with my channel or anything like that. But um, I got new headphones. Um, better headphones than the last ones I got. And um, basically, I can hear what's happening a bit better. So. Um, I won't be taking a stab in the dark when it comes to sounds and music and stuff. And, um, also, um, my camera has, um, been freezing a lot. This seemed to happen a lot in early 2010, when I would do my old playthroughs on Glitchman 642. Anyway, this bonus man here will give you more time, if you do it right. But I didn't. Um, but yeah, this camera freezing thing happened, it was just a phase, it did it less often, um, where, as it went through, but now it's come back again, more annoying than ever. Oh, time up, really. Well, I got a B for chapter 0 and an E for chapter 1. Average kill distance, 16 meters, either you have amazing skill or you're just a coward. Well, either way, you're not letting my zombies get within 16 meters of you, most of the time. Game over? Dead. Better be done. Anyway, there's the game over screen that we actually haven't seen at this point. Anyway, I'm gonna try again. This is my better I'm gonna attempt. try one more time, see if I can get any better. If you couldn't hear the live commentary, I just explained that. Um, but yeah, um, with the camera freezing, there is a good thing. I'll be paying more attention to the editing because I've had to sort of um, hit the play button on the camera before I hit the play button on the Windows uh, media player, which means I'll be um, spending a little more time in editing, which means that the sound, um, the video and my commentary will be more in sync now than it used to be before. So, 
that's good. Um, some of you might not even notice a change, but those who are meticulous will. I'll also be less likely to be losing any audio like I did for the last part of this playthrough. Sorry about that. And there won't be a lot of audio screw-ups like my Poke Park Wii episode 26 where the commentary was out of order for like the almost the entire thing. Twin shot, plus five seconds. Look at that, I got 37 seconds now. This is much better than my other attempt. Anyway, I'm not going to keep doing this until I get past the game. That's going to be impossible for me. If anyone has done it, I salute them. Like, you guys are really good at this game. Me, I personally can't get past chapter like 2 or 3 on my best days. There's no way I could beat the sloth on a time limit. Could you imagine that? Oh, Lord. Oh. Gee. Chapter 1, Chasing Shadows. Alright, going back to the entrance. Let's see if I can actually do it now. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look at my time. 51 seconds. Much nicer. Oh yeah, and if you shoot the background zombies that aren't mandatory, you get a bonus second, so I would recommend doing that. Oh yeah, and um, where our items would usually be in arcade mode or extreme mode, you'll now find bonus time. Uh, all the ones I've found are 7 seconds, so I'm guessing they're all 7 seconds, but if I'm wrong, don't quote me on that. Damn sumo, you have like 15 bullets in you. Okay, so so far I'm doing better than my old attempt. Yeah, still not getting that bonus though. I think at this point last time I had 10 seconds, so... The bad thing is these vultures only give you one second each and they take about five seconds each to kill. <coughs> And then... What? It's the security guard! Security guard? No. Hey, 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 hey. Attack its weak point for massive damage. Oh yeah, and when you get hit you actually lose time instead of life. That's why you don't have a life meter. I should have mentioned that. You don't have a life meter because... Yeah, you lose time when you get hit. Um, but every time you take out an, uh, that orange bar of the zombie's health, each wave of the, zo uh, of the zombie's boss, um, you gain 10 seconds. So that's okay. It takes like 6-7 seconds to take them out and you get 10 seconds for doing it. And there's a bonus 7 seconds. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this chapter, but I don't know if I'm going to finish the next chapter. Probably not. I mean, if you get hit, you lose like seven seconds, I think, so. Nice effect on the glass, I have to say. I like it when video games put in the detail. <coughs> like that bolt. Or all these uh, ferns on the floor. Like, what would ferns be doing on the floor? I don't know. Oh, wow, did I lose 15 seconds or something? I didn't actually see how many seconds I lost there. Huh. Lisa, keep running! And they never stopped running. Okay, so unlike the other things where B gets you nothing, in time attack, B earns you an extra 10 seconds. So, yay for mediocre. Actually, mediocre would be D. I mean, C. B is above average. Yay. 10 seconds. I don't know if you get anything for C. And, uh, unfortunately, you don't get anything... Um, you don't get anything in Chapter 0, no matter 
what it says you got at the end of it. So, no bonus 10 seconds for you. Chapter 2 Bewilderment. <laughs> Apparently I didn't turn this cutscene off. Um, I picked this one first, unlike in, in my other attempts, because... Not my other attempts, my arcade mode and extreme mode thing, because security guard is probably the fastest and easiest to take out, and you get 10 seconds each time you take him out. Um, with the plant, I'm not sure how that system would work, and with the sloth, I would lose instantly. Which is why, if I actually ever got to chapter 4, that would always be chapter 4 for me. But I don't think I even get to chapter 3 in this attempt, sorry. Even though it looks like I'm doing good, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I am, but I won't be for long. That's what I'm trying to get at. Time? Yes! Seven seconds. You see what I mean? It's only seven seconds, so I, I highly doubt the fact that there's anything more or less than seven seconds out there. Anyway, in Time Attack, there's another thing. Um, they actually give you extra, uh, a couple of extra zombies throughout areas where there weren't, wouldn't be many zombies. Because if you're just going past, past the like five second path and there's like one zombie and you get one second, you just wasted like four seconds. And if there's a few of those, you lose time fast. So they've added a few zombies so you can actually get some more time. Which I think was a great idea on the programmer's part. Ah oh, yeah, seven seconds you lose and those guys are probably going to lose me all my time. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't usually, but I don't know. Burn a second. Burn a second. Burn a second. And then we lost like seven of them. <coughs> now I'm not doing so good. No! Oh! Oh, that's bad. I've got like ten seconds now. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I have to do this bonus event if I have... Oh, no! No! I need a clock! I need something! Oh, he kicked me! Great! Anyway, B for chapter 0, B for chapter 1, and E for chapter 2. Average kill time, 1.89 seconds. Have you been using a Gatling gun? You're only taking 1.8 seconds to kill my zombies. Or do you have something against my poor zombies? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're kind of killing people and destroying the town. Huh. Yeah. But anyway, average shooting time was pretty good. It's just the fact that they hit me. I lost about 21 seconds due to hits. And that extra 21 seconds could have taken me the distance. I love how they call the end where you're fighting the security guard the security check. Anyway, that's it. That is the House of the Dead 3 playthrough. Now, I'm going to show you tutorial movies. Last time I did this in the House of the Dead 2, it didn't turn out so well. So, I'm going to try with this movie instead of the last movie I tried. So sit back and enjoy. <coughs> Alright, and I don't know if the Extremo tutorial works either. No. It does not. Yeah, no. Alright, well, one tutorial movie worked, and that's better than the House of the Dead 2 playthrough. And on anyway, that note, I end. Anyway, I will see you guys on my next playthrough, playthrough 7, Plants vs. Zombies. Well, technically, it'll be my fourth playthrough rebuild, but I'm not doing these in order. So the next one's actually play through certain plays with zombies. Um, anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been 
a nice playthrough, a nice short one to take a break from that big Poke Park Wii project. Um, yeah, back on to my next big project, uh, Plants vs Zombies, that's going to be quite a few episodes, so it's nice to do one of these short ones once in a while. Um, I had more fun doing this playthrough than I thought I would originally, I thought this would be a bad playthrough for me, but um, it actually turned out quite well, I'm happy with how it turned out, and yeah, that's about it. Um, see you guys, I hope you had a great time watching. I hope you'll comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, see you guys later.